In this installment of the Bug Out Bronco Project, we're going to be talking about batteries and whether or not you've got a bug out type vehicle or just something that you don't necessarily crank a lot. It's really important to keep the battery level maintained so that when you do need it, it'll start. Um, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a product that allow you to do that. I'm talking about the Leicester CN, I think I pronounced that correctly, automatic power charger. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, the folks at Leicester CN, I think I got that right, were kind enough to send me one of their fully automatic battery chargers and to sponsor this video. And I think this is really cool because one of the things that obviously is important is to make sure that you that when you if you need to crank a vehicle for whatever reason bug out vehicle or otherwise that you know it cranks right <laughs> and batteries have a tendency to deplete themselves sometimes if they're sitting for a long time if you, if you haven't cranked it in a while i know that this thing was down for probably six months waiting on a major brake job i just didn't have time to fool with i finally wound up paying somebody else to do it and literally after sitting you know over the winter it, it wouldn't crank at all the battery just had completely drained itself um, I don't think there was anything on I just think that happens to lead acid batteries and so you know to jump it off and get it charged up and it's fine now but uh, I know I used to have a motorcycle that I had a battery tender for because it was the same deal I didn't ride it all the time basically that was just something you hooked up to the battery kept it charging and when you needed it you just unplugged it and, and you cranked it up and went uh, but you have to be careful about that because a lot of battery chargers, common battery chargers, they, they, they're not set up to do that and they really will damage your battery. For example, uh, this is the old school battery charger here. This is not really designed just to be left connected to the battery. Um, you can't damage your battery because it's going to keep putting power to it, I think, just as long as you keep it plugged in. So and that's what I thought was so cool about this one is that basically you can just hook it up to your battery if, if you want to leave it, leave it connected um, basically indefinitely and it, it'll kind of monitor the levels of, in the battery if it, if it needs to charge the battery it will if it doesn't need to charge the battery it won't which is pretty cool basically it's just uh, you hook it up and you don't have to, have to worry about it now this is not a jump starter it's not going to just you can't just hook this up and crank your battery that's not what this is designed for this is in my opinion the big benefit of this is is just to maintain your battery now if you do wind up having a dead battery it will certainly will charge your battery um, back to the state it needs to be in and it does so intelligently so it doesn't dump too much power in or not enough power it's just it, all the circuitry is in here so that it's going to charge your battery at the optimum level so anyway all that being said, you know I'm not an electronics engineer or a battery expert. I'm just a regular guy, and that's what I like about this. It is just basically you just you don't have to know a bunch of stuff. You just hook it up, and the uh, the charger itself does everything for you. So let me just, just um let me take you down to the old uh, we'll call it under the hood top, and we'll uh, do a little battery charger stuff, and I'll show you how easy it is to use this thing. So here's the charger, and basically it's got a. Uh, some some lights here that show you what's going on. We'll show you that in a second. I want to show you what it comes with. It comes with um, this lead, and this is about um, let's say from here to here is about five feet, and this just connects together like so. Oh, drop it! It's also shockproof and um, IP. 64 water resistant which means it's it's rain resistant to rain so that's cool if, if it happens to get wet it's not gonna not gonna ruin it it also comes with a secondary little extension here that's about another four and a half feet that you can put between here so you've got a total of about 10 feet between here nine or ten feet between here and the battery and then the cord itself plug-in cord itself is about three feet long so about you know you can go about 12 feet from your from your power outlet without an extension cord and it's got some little brackets here to let, allow you to little holes if you want to mount this on the wall like if you put it in your garage you want to have it where you can just hook it up and keep it hooked up to your vehicle that's a pretty cool idea there i really don't know what this little thing here is it looks like an antenna but i don't know what it is so anyway there's that just kind of wanted to show you the uh the, the way it hooks up and it's just really really simple it just plugs in plugs in right here um and that, I, that's what I really like about it. There's not a lot of stuff to figure out. And then it comes with this um, 
pretty pretty uh, I'd say it's for me it's a little more information than I need as far as the instructions but bottom line is when you hook this thing up and it's, it tells you if, if you're hooking it up out of the vehicle you hook it straight to the battery if you're hooking it up in the vehicle and you have a negatively grounded vehicle like most in the US anyway it says to hook the positive to the uh, positive terminal the red to the positive terminal of the battery and the black to the frame somewhere so uh, they tell you the same thing for jumping a car off I've always hooked it to the battery but in this case we're gonna hook it to the frame just to be safe I'll hook it over here to the uh, to my alternator bracket that should that should get us to, to a ground and then basically just we're just going to plug it in and i'll show you what happens here so you plug it in you turn it on you can see i don't know if you can hopefully you can see those lights there let's see if you can get in the shadow where you can see them it's really hard to do this outside where you can see it on the video but it says it's the wet it's a wet battery so you can select a battery type Typically, you're going to have a wet battery in a vehicle, at least in the U.S. And I'll, can you see that little, it does the diagnostics, and it shows you that the battery is 80%, 80% charged already. So the battery is in pretty good shape. At this point in time, all we would do is just leave it like this. And basically, it's going to monitor the battery. When the battery gets fully charged, it's going to stop putting power to it, and it'll just, uh, it'll, it'll do it as needed. So, so. Um, nothing really dramatic there. The, basically, the first thing it does when you hook it up is it goes into a test mode and it tests the battery. If the battery fails, it shows that it, it is just, just fails the test mode. It's going to automatically go into a reconditioning mode, which is going to have this uh, this LED up here will be flashing. You can't really see it very well in the in the light. Hopefully, you can see the right now. You can see the green that is actually showing eighty percent. So if, if it fails, then it's going to go into reconditioning. If it's below 20%, it's going to go into desulfation mode, which means that it basically kind of rejuvenates the, uh, the acid inside and, and you know, makes it where it's going to be able to be charged better, kind of cleans it up. And then if, if it's above 9 volts, which I don't know, you know this is a 12-volt battery, so maybe it's above 80%, it's just going to go ahead and start charging, and it's going to maintain it. Basically, it's just going to monitor the, the level of charge. If it needs some juice to get added to it, it's going to charge it, and if it doesn't, it won't. So, And there you go. Not rocket science, but I, I just think it is really, really cool. Okay, well, that's a quick look at the uh, Leicester CN Power Charger. Uh, fully automatic and just a couple of closing thoughts about this first of all I really like the fact that you don't have to really figure anything out I think that really the only thing you have to set is the battery type and, and it really um I didn't even have to do that when I hooked it up it automatically showed up as wet so I don't know if it, if it monitored if it figured that out on its own or not but if, if you don't have a wet battery if you got one of these other a gel or AGM then you probably know what that is I don't but so the, the, what's cool though is it does have the capability to charge a lot of different kind of batteries it's also got reverse polarity protection short circuit protection overload protection. i mean it's, it's it's all built in that that it just um it does what it needs to do and you don't have to think about it it's it's i like the fact that it's ipx 64 water resistant which means it's dust resistant and water resistant for for, for rain so if you did have this outdoors you know if you had to leave it out sitting on, on, on your hood or under your hood or whatever it's going to be fine i really like the fact that it has um, a capability of almost 10 feet total of, of wiring that you can hook up here you can mount this on the wall if you need to and use it just straight up like a battery tender which is my preferred use for this for a bug out vehicle a golf cart a four-wheeler uh, anything that that need, has a battery that needs to stay charged something else i really like about it is it comes with a lifetime warranty um, it's available on amazon at the time of this video the price is around the 60 dollars mark uh, maybe um give or take a couple of bucks it fluctuates on amazon obviously um, but there you go if you're looking for a way to keep anything that needs to crank uh, with the battery keep it charged and ready to go and without having to really fiddle with it or without worrying about just damaging your battery or anything else um, you might want to check out the uh, the uh, automatic power charger this is the EPM 12M248 version now let me just uh, let you take a look at that because there are a few different versions so I'm just gonna put this up here and you can take a you know you can pause it or whatever and take a good look at the screenshot uh, this is this one is available on Amazon around the $60 mark like I say give or take a dollar or two and just very, very useful thing to have, in my opinion, for a bug out vehicle or anything else that needs to crank. Like that school bus you hear in the background. 
they probably need a bunch of these over the summertime at the old school bus farm <laughs> So anyway, I know this has been a little bit of a different video, but I do think this is something that falls definitely under the heading of preparedness. And if you've ever went out to crank something and it just goes click, 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 or doesn't do anything at all, then that's a frustrating, frustrating feeling. And this could prevent that from happening. And if there's something especially that you're gonna use as an emergency vehicle, or in my case, probably, um, you know, it's more likely that I'll need this in a storm than I will in a bug out situation. But when we get our annual two inches of snowfall here in Georgia, and everything is shut down i come out to the old bronco i want it to crank so anyway um i hope this has been helpful thanks to the folks at leicester cm for sending me this so i could show it to you and for sponsoring this video and as always thank you for watching survival on purpose i put out a brand new video every friday and every saturday and very often random videos throughout the week there's another one right there and if you're not subscribed you can click right down there in the corner be sure and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video i really appreciate the support once again my name's brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival's not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time